हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज उदय पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एम ई पी टेक्निकल वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वील लर्न अबाउट वायरिंग डायग्राम ऑफ डी यू एल स्टार्टर सो दिस इज दी डायरेक्ट ऑनलाइन स्टार्टर फॉर मोटर ओके सो जनरली वी यूज इट टू स्टार्ट दी थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर ओके so this is the very commonly used starter to start the motor which have rating below the 5h okay so before i start the session i would like to request you please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so basically dol starter so dol stands for direct online starter panel okay so this is the type of motor starter okay actually we have a dol starter motor then star delta starter then we have also soft starter also vfd starter these all are the types of starter okay so later we will know it individually okay so in this video we only focus on this dol starter okay so actually dol starter is a device consist of main contactor and protective device and overload relay which is used for motor starting operation so basically this is the dol starter is the device which consist of main contactor and other protective device like a mcb and even we have a overload relay actually this is thermal overload relay in case we have a overload on motor or pumps it will protect on that case okay so basically this is used to start the motor operation okay now i have already told you the dol stands for direct online starter okay so it also known as direct online starter okay this is the full form of dol now it is used for low rating usually below the 5 hp motor okay generally we use dol starter up to we can say up to 5 hp okay it is acceptable okay so we use dol starter in case we have a motor or pumps so generally below 5 hp or up to 5 hp we go for dol starter but above 5 hp motor or pump we don't go for dol starter personally i am not recommended so this is starter above 5 hp motor okay so above 5 hp which type of starter we going to use we use star delta starter okay star delta starter we'll talk it in next video star delta starter okay even we have a nowadays vfd system but it is expensive even we have a soft starters okay so these are the expensive one okay so we'll talk it in next video now so this is the view of dol starter panel okay this is the view of dol starter panel so basically dol starter panel look like this so here we have a selector switch okay this one is selector switch okay which is three position three position select selector switch where we have option auto off and m means manual okay we can operate it auto and manual okay and in manual we can start the motor by this green one push button actually this is the ano push button okay and to stop this motor we use this one red push button actually this is the nc push button normally close push button okay and these are the indicators okay so these are the incoming indicator it means uh, this indicates the whether our three phase power is available or not means all phase are present or not means one indicator will indicate r phase and another y and another b so three for three phase indicator we use generally red led indicator and yellow led indicator and blue with the help of it we can sure about whether our ryb phase is present or not from this okay so basically for this purpose we use this incoming indicator so here we have a dol starter status led so this indicates the our motor condition okay so if we press this start button it means if our this green indicator will be glowing it means our motor is 
running so this indicates this indicator indicates the motor running condition okay when it is off means our motor is in off condition okay now another indicator we have a red one so this is for off if we push this stop button to stop the motor in that case this indicator will be glow red one if this indicator is glowing it means our motor is in off condition okay now another indicator also we have a trip okay so this means if this indicator will glow what we have to think our motor is in trip condition so there so there will be some fault so what will be the fault so this will be overload okay overload if the dual starter or motor we can say draw the currents rated than its capacity at that time this indicator will be glow means our motor will be in trip condition so it has some fault so with the help of this indicator we can notice the fault okay and here we have a alarm so in case we have any fault on motor this will this indicator will be glow so in case uh, instead of this led indicator we can also use buzzer okay any speaker okay so in this way so basically these are the indicator and push button are fixed on the dual starter panel and inside it so this is the cabinet of dual starter panel okay so inside it we have a din rails and over here we have a main mcb or isolator and uh, we have a contactor okay so three phase contactor and then overload thermal overload relay okay and also tv which is terminal block okay so this component are fixed inside this cabinet okay and this is the also dual starter panel actually here we have a two set okay one for this one and one for this one so with the help of this dual starter panel we can operate the two separate motors okay individually because here we have fixed two dual starter okay here we have also installed emitter okay and uh, voltmeter so indicate the what is the actual value of voltage and current okay now finally let's move to the wiring diagram of dual starter okay so it consists mainly it consists of some devices like a so before I start the wiring physical wiring suppose we have a all components of dual starter then we are going to do the wiring for like a there are two types of wiring for dual starter one is power wiring and another is control wire so if we have a all components and then we are going to do the power wiring and start wi uh, control wiring so before it we have to understand about the wiring diagram of dual starter or drawings of dual starter okay so for power di wiring diagram we have a component tp mcb so this is actually triple pole mcb so this is the symbol symbol of actually mcb and this is the triple pole contactor which is denoted by k okay so this is the coil and these are the terminals okay this is the symbol actually it is denoted where wherever you see the this type of symbol it means this is contactor in the drawing okay so before I start so before read the uh, or uh, before make the drawings of this dual starter panel we have to first sure about its symbol legends okay understand about its legends or symbol okay and this is the olr olr symbol so actually this is overload thermal overload relay okay and here we have, we have a single pole mcb and this is the nc contact of olr so nc contact of olr and this is nc push button we use for stop and this is ano push button we use for start it and this is the coil terminal okay and this is ano terminal of this contactor and these are the indicator for a start a stop and trip okay so these are the ano contact of contactor and this is nc contact of contactor and this is ano contact of olr okay so these are the symbols now let's wiring diagram of this dual starter panel okay so generally we have a three phase neutral system so let's draw the bus bar so 
फोर आर सो हेयर वी हैव अ ड्र दी आर एंड फोर वाई सो वाई एंड फोर बी फेज सो लेट्स टेक अ बी बस बार एंड फोर न्यूट्रल लेट्स टेक अ न्यूट्रल बस बार सो हेयर टीपीएन बस बार नाउ फर्स्ट लेट्स ड्र दी पावर वायरिंग ओके सो फॉर दैट लेट्स टेक थ्री फेज मोटर सो हेयर वी हैव अ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर एंड नाउ फ्रॉम द बस बार कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट टर्मिनल ऑफ दिस एम सी बी ओके फॉर आर हेयर फॉर वाई हेयर एंड फॉर बी हेयर सो इट सो इट इनपुट टर्मिनल ऑफ एम सी बी वी हैव अ कनेक्टेड नाउ फ्रॉम द आउटपुट टर्मिनल ऑफ दिस टी पी एम सी बी विल कनेक्ट टू द इनपुट टर्मिनल मीन्स एल वन एल टू एंड एल थ्री टर्मिनल ऑफ दिस कॉन्टैक्टर ओके सो हेयर वी हैव कनेक्टेड फो बी फेज ऑल्सो नाउ फ्रॉम द आउटपुट टर्मिनल ऑफ दिस के कॉन्टैक्टर वी यूजली कनेक्ट दिस ओ एल आर इट हैज सम टाइप्स ऑफ पिन सो वी कैन इंसर्ट डायरेक्टली इन टू दी आउटपुट साइड ऑफ कॉन्टैक्टर इट मीन्स टर्म टी वन टी टू एंड टी थ्री साइड बट हेयर लेट्स कनेक्ट the wire so from the output terminal of contactor let's take a wire and connect it to the input terminal of olr oh, okay for three phase all now finally from the output terminal of olr it is connected to the three phase induction motor generally below the 5 hp we use dual starter and it is connected in this motor is connected in delta connection now come to control wiring so first in control wiring we use do first we'll do neutral wiring so from here let's take a wire okay and give it to contactor coil a2 terminal okay then all the indicators because all indicator needs neutral supply to glow it okay now finally let's come to phase wiring okay this 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 is the phase wiring let's take a phase from this b phase and connect it to the single phase mcb now from output of this single phase mcb it is connected to the input terminal of nc contact of olr okay overload relay now from output terminal of this nc contact of olr it is connected to the input terminal of this nc push button okay now this nc push button is used to stop the motor okay now from the output terminal of this nc push button it is connected to the no push button of input terminal of this no push button okay so no push button here we use for start the motor okay and from the output terminal of this no push button it is connected to the a1 terminal of this contactor okay so here we have a completed phase wiring of this side okay now here we have to also implement the holding circuit latching circuit so to permanent hold this contactor contacts okay so for this let's use its contactor ano contact okay so from here input terminal of this start push button let's take a wire and connect it to the ano contact of so this is normally open contact of contactor okay so input terminal and from the output of this ano contact of contactor let's connect to the a1 terminal of its contactor okay now up to here we have completed a start and a stop control wiring diagram now come to here indication indicator diagram so basically in case we start and stop the motor actually with the help of this indicator we can monitor the status of the motor okay so let's take a phase work from the output terminal of this mcb single pole single pole mcb and from there let's take a wire and connect it to the input terminal of ano contact okay and it is finally give it to the through this ano contact will give it to the start indicator because when we start it it means when we push this push button this will start and contactor ano contact get nc means when we start it it gets nc and this indicator will glow okay similarly for nc contact so basically this used to to glow this stop push button stop indicator sorry so at off mode generally this is at nc contact so it will glow when we start it it become ano okay then this indicator will not glow and this red one indicator will glow in case of 
strip this indicator will basically glow from this overload relay so we will control this indicator from this ano contact of olr olr so this is the overload relay and from the output of it we will connect to the led indicator okay for trip so basically these are the wiring diagram of dual starter one is power wiring diagram on another is control line so before we start the wiring we have to understand about the dual starter wiring diagram okay now some advantages of dual starter here we have a simple control circuitry as compared to other starter like a star delta starter okay and it is the most cheapest and econ economical starters so among them all starter like a star delta vft soft starter and easy to understand and troubleshoot as it has a simple control circuit so it is easy to understand and troubleshoot it provides 100 percent torque at the time of starting so initially it gives 100 percent torque as in this condition in case of a dual starter it will not reduce the currents okay initially that's why it will give the 100 percent torque because torque is directly proportional to current but in case of a star delta panel initially a star delta starter will reduce the current so at a starting time in a star delta starter torque is low okay in the, and it will increase slowly after gain the speed and it will operate in delta condition at that time only it will gain the full torque in star delta starter but in dual starter it will give 100 percent torque at the time of starting only one set of cable is required from starter to motor okay only one set of cable okay three phase but in case of star delta starter will take two cable from a starter one for a star and one for delta okay and motor is connected in delta at motor terminal generally below 5 hp if we talk about its application so dual starter i use for a small water pumps conveyor belts motor fans and compressor okay so which is below the 5 hp so these are the advantage of dual starter so in this video we have talked about basically what is dual starter basics of dual starter and how to read the and how to draw the power wiring diagram and control wiring diagram of this dual starter and we also talk about its advantage some advantage okay so in next video we'll learn about actually physically connection okay of dual starter okay hope you guys understand about dual starter so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video